Hey Star Wars friends, hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome back to another video. This one I got, I just want to talk about, look, have a look at some figures. Uh, I got wave two of the 40th anniversary um, line for the Black Series, the 40th anniversary six inch vintage Carter figures. Got them yesterday from a local Big W. Um, I'd say I finally got them, but you know, it wasn't really waiting that long since the first wave. Um, and they're literally just hitting retail now. Some stores aren't even selling them yet. Um, I think on the basis that some stores have let them go, I think the rest of them now have done it because they've broken an embargo, which is meant to, they're meant to wait until a toy sale that's coming up. But uh, yeah, really, really happy to finally have them. Finally, again, I'm not saying finally, it's good to have the set. Um, I'm just gonna, I just need to get another Vader because I bought one while I was in, while I was in America and I opened it up. So I need to track myself down another Vader to put on the on the back of the door. So I've got a little spot there. And I've actually organized a trade, so I should be getting an R5-D4, which will go there. Um, so hopefully that will arrive next week, middle of next week. Um, and then I just got to hunt for another R5-D4 that I can open up. So I just wanted to run through uh, the second wave because some absolute cracking figures. Um, I got two of the Jawa and the Death Squad Commander, so I've opened a couple up. Um, they look, they're look fantastic figures, but we'll just have a look at the carded versions today. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks, guys. All right, so first and foremost, we're gonna have a look at Chewbacca. Now this is, being the big figure he is, he takes up quite a lot of space on this card, but it is damn cool. And uh, yeah, I haven't sort of sat down and had a very close look at any differences between this and the uh, previous standard release that was in the, I think it was in the blue packaging. Oh, the blue black series. So I imagine there's a few small tweaks that Hasbro have gone and, gone and done, but you know, probably nothing major. And the back of all these cards are all the same, so I'll just show you this one once. So we've got the first 12 there, and they look, I just love that card. Like I've kept a spare card. I'm just gonna sort of cut around this silver border. Um, so I think it's just a really nice, just the way, I just love the colors. I love that vintage vintage aesthetic. And Disney Hasbro down the bottom. So nothing nothing too exciting on the, on the back, but this is just really nicely done. I actually really like the little, the little 40th anniversary logo. I think that's a really, really nice, clever looking logo. Um, and you know, with the, there isn't anything else that, you know, it just sort of stands these apart from everything else as being a nice little sub subset. Which is nice, so that's chewy. I'm just sort of hanging them back on the back of my door as I go. So <laughs> excuse me for the seconds in between while I'm grabbing the next one. Here we've got C-3PO. A really nice looking figure on the card. I just love the sort of red of the Death Star control panel behind him there. And it contrasts nicely with the blue background they've got on the card. I think it looks really good. And then the nice gold of 3PO. And this is a really good figure and this is the Walmart exclusive 3PO that was only available to those of you who were able to get one from a Walmart and uh, I guess this gives everyone else another opportunity to grab this figure so that's 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 another another bonus with this um, line that gives you know gives those opening opening collectors another chance to grab some figures that they may have missed the first time now this I actually spent a bit of time looking at this one because um, this one's an absolute cracker, the Tuscan Raider or Sand People. Um, I've got the next wave in transit to me now, which comes with you know the just the standard line Tuscan Raider Qui Gon Jinn. So I'll be able to open that one when he comes. So I was just sort of not having an open figure of this guy yet. I was just sitting there staring at it, and I just I wanted to open it, but I can't do that. So I was, I was happy to be able to open a couple of the figures last night, being that I got two of two of a couple, but 
Oh man, I'm looking forward to having this one out of the box and in my hand. I'm and hopefully I can find a second one. I'd love a couple of these. Just that that pitch is so good. Such a nice looking card. An amazing looking figure. And now we've got Stormtrooper. Pretty iconic looking card. And again, another chance for, you know, not a lot of stores aren't getting too many of these, but, you know, if you're lucky enough, you can probably pick a, pick up a couple more of these Stormtroopers and have some openers if you want to, if you want, if you're an opener and uh, build that army up again. But uh, hopefully this isn't the last opportunity to get a six inch Stormtrooper. I'm sure we'll get other opportunities in the future. It's a it's a cracker of a figure. And just very iconic on that card. Now we'll go to Death Squad Commander. Another really nice looking figure. And uh, in terms of main characters, he sort of is sort of probably a very, very much an odd one out from that um, from the first twelve. Um, probably, if you'd ask anyone, there's probably someone else you'd pick as being a little bit more iconic than this one. Say whether it's a Walrus Man or a Greedo or something. But uh, yeah, this guy got the spot in that first twelve um, action figures back in 1978. Planned, planned in 77, I guess, but released in 78. And, uh, yeah, this is one I got to open last night, and it's a it's a really, really nice Imperial figure. And, uh, you know, if, you, if you, you can do some head swaps with some other, with some other figures and have yourself a second uh, Death Squad Commander. And I like that they called it Death Squad Commander, I remember. Uh, this guy was released in the Vintage Collection... Uh, a few years ago and they they changed the name because I thought death squad was probably a little bit too a little bit too on the nose for the kids but I'm glad they've stuck to that and uh, it's it's really good it's a it's a really good figure so definitely don't pass this one up even if it's not the most exciting of the line because it's a good really good figure and a nice one to add to your imperial ranks so last but not least we have the Jawa. Well, I guess in terms of size, it is the least, but not not a bad figure at all. This is I love this card. I love the little bubble. Um, gives more room for for a bigger picture. And this is the other one I was able to open. And man, I just this is an absolute cracker of a figure. It comes with sort of stun blaster plus his other little one that's attached to the hose. It's got the little uh, holster on the side that that one can slide into. You know, despite the fact that it's uh, soft goods would have would have made this figure, but uh, despite the fact that it's nice, really nicely molded, he's still got all the articulation underneath. And uh, yeah, I'd love to love to get a second one of these too, just to have a you know a couple of Jawas displayed together. Disgusting creatures. But uh, yeah, that's a. It's really, really nice, and uh, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm really happy that it appears that Hasbro are sort of. I'm just going to spin around. I'm really happy that Hasbro are keeping this at a sort of 12 or well, a 14 figure collection at this stage. But uh, I'd love for them to go back and maybe revisit this with a couple of figures a year. Um, you know. They, they've got they've got a Greedo they could put on a card and you know maybe release a convention exclusive or something for these for these figures and you know just slowly add to them as over the years over the coming years and with the success of the Black Series I'm sure that's going to continue on um, so just a couple of thoughts that I have about this line because um, you know look, look look at the back of the door like just all displayed together look like uh, fantastic and you know, the opportunity to grab a couple more would be would be fantastic. You know, like there's so much 
room for opportunity there and you know whether they go back and release a, an assortment of 12 empire strikes back in you know three years when empire turns 40 or you know i think maybe release a set of six a year or something four or five or six a year yeah, it'd be fantastic and uh but like i said i'm happy with the 12 um it's enough money to buy a bunch of these figures again just for the display purpose but you know i'm not regretting it at all so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching let me know what you think and what you think of this line i would love to hear your thoughts all right guys till my next video may the force be with you